Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This one is the granite crystal metallic color. Uh, it has the 5.7 liter Hemi as well as an 8 speed automatic transmission. Very nice vehicle, just got off the uh, delivery truck. The 2021s are starting to hit, hit the lots which is very nice. Starting off up front, tons of chrome. Standard halogen headlights on the Bighorn, as well as halogen fog lights. You do have parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Coming around to the hood, we have your 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter badge. Coming down to the wheels, we have a 18 inch wheel, and it's on a Bridgestone Dueler HL and the tire size is a 275-65 R18. They do give you splash guards right here to protect against, obviously, mud, uh, but more importantly, rock chips and then eventually corrosion. Chrome Ram badge right here. Black uh, mirror caps. You do have LED puddle lights on the bottom of both passenger and driver side. Absolutely massive cab. I believe starting in 2019, uh, the cab redesign added four inches of length. You also have some more plastic uh, moldings down here to protect again from uh, rock chips and then paint corrosion. This one does have the rear uh, wheel well liners installed from the factory. Coming around back, very nice chrome bumper dual chrome tipped exhaust and for a stock exhaust setup this sounds very good I hope the uh, the camera and the mic are, are doing it justice but you do have parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper you have your standard four pin and seven pin connector right here as well as LED license plate lights there's your 4x4 badge your bighorn badge and then your ram badge Right up top, we have your uh, tailgate release button as well as your backup camera. Standard halogen tail lights. Right here, we have your capless fuel fill port. There's your third brake light as well as your radio antenna. You also have the uh, blind spot spotter mirrors on both driver and passenger sides. Very pretty truck. This granite crystal metallic is absolutely beautiful and uh, it is the color I was thinking of getting when I got my 2020. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the interior. So before I get in, uh, this is a four-wheel drive truck. However, getting in is very easy with these grab handles. They include on both driver and passenger sides. Uh, you also get the floor liners uh, from the factory with this vehicle, which is very nice to have. So we are up and in turn all this stuff down so you can hear me this is a pretty unique interior color I would say I don't think I've done a review on a Ram with this interior color scheme yet uh, I don't know if it's new for 2021 don't quote me on that but it's black in a light gray mix and I think the cloth seats are a little lighter shade of gray as well Starting off over here on the left side of the steering wheel, we have your lock and unlock buttons, your window locks, rear window control, front window control, and the front two are automatic up and down. And then in front of that we have your mirror controls. Push the center button and the mirrors do fold in. Push it again and they fold out, which is very nice to have on a big truck, especially when you're parking in tight spaces. Down here, we have your rotary dial control for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. To the right of that, we have your dimmer switch for the interior lights. Right under that, we have your electronic parking brake. And then to the right of that, we have your power adjustable pedals. This steering wheel is manual tilt. Beautiful LCD display up front. Each of these corners can be changed to monitor a different parameter. You can also change the scroll wheel on both left and right side. Um, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best uh, displays currently in the truck market. Uh, you can monitor tons of things, tons of uh, 
custom settings you can do. It is very, very cool. That brings us back to the steering wheel. Very nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Control pad right here for the LCD display up front. To the right of that, we have your hands-free call buttons. Over on the right side of the steering wheel, we have all of your cruise control buttons, as well as your uh, manual gear limiter. Just like on all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker in the back of the left side of the steering wheel. And on the back of the right side of the steering wheel, we have your volume rocker. If they want it. 2019 was the first year for standard push button start, so this vehicle does have it. Below that we have your rotary dial shifter with push button transfer case. Um, some people don't like the rotary dial shifter. Uh, it is very easy to get used to and it does save a lot of space. So I, uh, I like it a lot. Coming up top, you have a shallow storage compartment right here as well as a 12 volt outlet. Really nice granite looking or marble looking trim throughout. However, it is plastic obviously. That brings us to the touchscreen LCD display. Uh, FCA, year over year, um, keeps improving their tech, including their touchscreens. Very responsive. Uh, if you do live in the north climate, you will know that unfortunately the cold uh, starts to affect the touchscreen display. However, it's still um, very responsive, high resolution. I mean, check out this backup camera. That is some very high definition backup camera right there. Very cool. Uh, this also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Below that we have the physical buttons for the radio, your volume knob, your tune or seek knob, your mute button, and your screen off button. Um, if you're driving at night and it's too bright, you can turn the screen off. You can either touch the screen or push the screen off button to wake the screen back up. Hazard light button is in the middle of that. Right here we have your heated driver and passenger seats. And then in the middle we have your heated steering wheel button. Below that we have your dual zone climate control buttons. Right here we have your traction control off button, tow haul mode, parking sensors rear off, parking sensors front off. Uh, they are on by default or should be on by default. Traditionally right here is where your CD player would be. However, this one opted to go for the uh, Little storage cubby right here, which in my opinion is a good idea. I think uh, CD players are definitely uh, On the way out. I, th I think it's actually long overdue um, Pretty much everything now is streaming and Bluetooth You do have two USB ports two USB-C ports and an auxiliary jack plug right here Right here we have a phone storage tray, and below that we have a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Which brings us to the configurable center console. Uh, there are three positions with this center console. First one gives you access to both cup holders, chain storage, and storage tray. Push it back one click, giving you access to just the cup holders and the uh, storage compartment underneath. One more click, giving you access to only the storage tray. Uh, the camera angle does appear like you can access your cup holders, but when you're actually sitting in the seat, as you can see, you cannot access it. That brings us back to the uh, leather wrapped armrest. It is a uh, storage compartment as well, two tiered. First shallow tier opens up, giving you access to the USB port, as well as a cutout for cord management. Open the second tier, gives you access to the deep storage compartment down there. Little Easter egg, something cool that RAM included was some trigonomic ratios, your standard to metric conversions, as well as your fraction to decimal chart. Also, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because of the lighting. This little center divider right here that flips up also has each previous generation of RAM trucks. You got your first gen, second gen, third gen and then your fourth gen and obviously now we are in the fifth generation of 1500. Here's a closer look at the center or uh, cloth seats I should say. Again it does seem to be a little bit lighter uh, tone than the other ones and th then again the dark gray or black and light gray continues even on the seats. Your floor liners again right here very nice to have. First glove compartment uh, pretty big for this size of vehicle. Second glove compartment is directly above that. 
Bighorn logo is right over there. To access it, you're gonna push this button and it is LED lit. Up to the vanity, it is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. On the driver vanity, you also have a three door universal garage remote as well. Up top in the center, you have your halogen dome map light uh, buttons. And then this button in the middle controls the rear sliding power window. And then in front of that, you have your glasses storage compartment. And I believe new for 2021 is this new redesigned sleek auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, very, very nice. I, uh, I like that a lot. It, it's very minimalist. Overall, I like the uh, interior of this vehicle. Again, I think Ram knocked it out of the park with their uh, instrument cluster as well as their touchscreen displays. With that being said, let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom I have. So before I get in, I want to point out uh, these doors open at what seems to be or very close to a 90 degree angle, which means if you have little ones uh, in car seats or you just want to help them get into the vehicle, uh, these doors opening as wide as they do is definitely a huge plus. Uh, these seats also fold up. The driver behind the driver's side seat is a single seat and the passenger side is a double seat, giving you access to the load flat floor. So if you have big items that you don't necessarily want to put in the bed of the truck such as TVs you don't have to worry about them doing the teeter-totter uh, while you're driving home because again this is a load flat floor you also get the in-floor storage with this truck on both driver and passenger sides this is the second generation of in-floor storage lift up on that tab giving us access to a storage tray this is removable so if you want to put uh, ice or whatever in there you can you also have the centimeter markings on the short side and inch markings on the long side and then you also have little tie down points right here so very very cool also these four liners do go up underneath the driver's seat and passenger seat a little bit and if you pull this down they do go underneath the rear seats and they are lipped so as long as uh, the spill stays in here you don't have to worry about it falling out and getting all over the carpet so again there are grab handles everywhere to get in this truck we're up and we're in uh, with the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving I'd say I have a solid 10 inches to maybe a foot of legroom. Um, I'm 5'11 for reference. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here with cutouts for a tablet. Little storage cubby right here. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet right there. Generous sized HVAC vents for the rear passengers. The middle seat does have a fold down cup holder slash armrest for you. You also have hanger hooks on both passenger and driver's side. And then up top in the middle, you have a halogen dome map light. Let's take a look at the bed real quick. So on this big horn, the only way to release the tailgate is to come up to it, push the button. It is soft and it is uh, uh, very light. I mean, when I say soft, I mean it's uh, self-dampened. Um, I believe all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum. So the hood, the doors, and the tailgate. So it is very light and easy to put back up. You have four tie downs, one in each corner to keep uh, cargo secure. And you also have cutouts for bed lights if you choose to go that route. Again, this is aluminum, so I will take two fingers, slam it home, and it's shut. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Uh, there is some tint on the rear window, so I'll kind of go over the key features. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $43,290. All of your standard equipment is in this rectangle right here. Optional equipment is in this rectangle right here. Most notably, uh, we have a $2,500 option for the Bighorn Level 2 package, as well as a $1,795 upcharge for the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine. There are some miscellaneous smaller um, up charges right here, as well as a $1,695 destination charge for a total vehicle price or MSRP of $50,405. Your fuel economy ratings are right here in this rectangle. 
This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Now I get a lot of comments on my videos about MSRP or total vehicle price. Um, you should never, almost never, be paying MSRP or sticker for a vehicle. Um, there are tons of ways you can save money. Uh, a lot of it depends on what time of year you're you're buying. Uh, if you're looking at a truck, wait till a truck month. Uh, if you can get an employee discount number, uh, you definitely save some money there. Uh, but this total price or vehicle price should be somewhere in between the MSRP and the base price. Um, I know with everything going on in the world currently at the time of filming this video with uh, health concerns, a lot of companies are doing everything they can to get people into their vehicles. Um, some, of them, some of them are doing 0% financing for 84 months. A lot of them are throwing a bunch of discounts, rebates, and incentives your way. Uh, so just shop around and definitely don't pay MSRP for a vehicle. I wanna give Pinkney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in, in this vehicle in particular or any of the new 2021 15, 25, 3500s or even Promasters, they have a bunch on the lot right now and are getting more uh, shipments weekly. I know right now it's been hard for a lot of these manufacturers to keep uh, uh, vehicles on the lot. Ram is doing a really good job at that. Um, I will be putting all the contact info in the description below. If you liked the video, please consider uh, giving it a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.